This is too zoomed in. Nice hair. Hola chicos, hi guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hey, how are we? I'm back with another video. It's Thursday. If you haven't noticed already, I'm trying to post every Thursday and it's going pretty well so far. I think this is like my fifth week and I'm gonna to stick to that. I am going to stick to it, I promise. I shouldn't make that promise because I definitely like didn't post for five months, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> so today's video is a bit of a random one. I just got home from work, hence the baggy clothes, hence this side bun. Hence this makeup as well. Every time I film, I always tend to film after work and I have the same makeup on in like the past three videos that you've seen. This makeup has been on since 11 a.m. this morning. So just, you know, nice and fresh. Nice and fresh for YouTube. <laughs> so I just got home from work and I've been wanting to try this all day. I bought my first ever French press coffee machine. And I'm gonna test it out tonight and I thought, do you know what, I'm gonna film this because this could be fun. Basically, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know by my stories. I am officially a basic Starbucks loving wannabe American. Actually, just you can see for yourself. Yep, I am now obsessed with Starbucks. Yeah, that's me. I love it. I love Starbucks and I'm not ashamed to say it. I spend money every morning on going to Starbucks. So I bought myself a French press machine because I want to start making my own coffee. Now, it seems silly because, as you can see, if you haven't watched my channel before, hey, hi! By the way, if you haven't seen my channel before, hi, I'm Hope. Welcome to the Hope Diaries. Please stay, please subscribe. But yeah, if you haven't seen my, any of my videos before, I live in a hotel, basically. And it seems really silly because look, they give me like these. You know how normally in a hotel you get like mugs and they give you like the coffee satchels and the tea. Well, I get all that. They give me little milk cartons, they give me tea, they give me coffee, they give me sugar, they give me sweeteners. And they even give me these cups. It's like takeaway cups. Every day, every day I get three new ones. So it sounds absolutely ridiculous. Like I could literally boil the kettle that they give me and make my own coffee every morning. But I am now obsessed, thanks to my friend Julia, who you would have seen a couple of videos ago with Starbucks cold brew coffee. So I've been Googling it today and Starbucks brew their cold brew for 20 hours. And Starbucks actually put a video up, I'll pop it here and I'll pop the link below in my description box. But Starbucks actually uploaded a video on their own YouTube channel on how you can make your own cold brew at home. So I'm gonna try it. Gonna try and save myself some dollar. Let me show you my coffee machine. So I bought a French press. Now it's absolutely tiny. Three cups. It is small. Should we take it out the bag? I actually haven't looked at it properly. I got this one in Carrefour. It's the small. How can you get three cups in that? Oh, I'm not sure about this, boys and girls. Surely you can't get three cups in that. Come on. <gasps> oh. Oh, it gives you a little spoon. Look. Cool. This is fun. Okay, I do not believe that that's gonna make me three cups of coffee, but we're gonna try. Look at the little spoon, love it. Okay, let's see what this says. Okay, so this is where it's difficult because I'm obviously gonna be making the cold brew. So we need to put the coffee in and then put room temperature water in, and then I'm gonna put it in the fridge. Here's the thing. Where's my phone? Cold brew from Starbucks takes 20 hours, but I'm gonna see if we can take less time. It's 7.55 p.m. and I want to try and drink this in the morning. How long to brew cold brew coffee? 18 to 24 hours. See this one says 12 to 24 hours. Hmm. Oh and basically if you're wondering why I would have cold brew and not just like an iced coffee, I think personally it's less bitter. An iced coffee is just a regular coffee so they make it with hot water and then they put it over ice to cool it down. So if you had an iced soya latte, for example, they would make the espresso shot, they would mix it together like a normal latte, and then they would pour it over ice so it was nice and cold. But cold brew is actually, there's no hot water involved. It's never hot at all. You just leave the ground coffee in the cold water until it's brewed so you don't need the hot, that's why it takes so long to make. I personally think it's less bitter because I drink black coffee anyway, always. 
I don't like milky drinks like a latte just isn't for me. I don't really like hot milk that tastes like coffee. And sometimes, like today actually, I had an Americano and it was great and it was really strong. I love strong coffee, but it was like this weird bitter aftertaste, which I don't think you get with the cold brew one, but it's just, it tastes a bit lighter, I would say. So it's a bit less, you know what I mean? So it says between 12 and 20 hours. Obviously the more you brew it probably the better. So basically there's lots of ways to do this but I'm going to do it with my new French press. Of course it had to be Starbucks coffee I bought. Starbucks house blend, medium roast, rich with toffee notes. There you go. I'm going to watch that Starbucks video one more time so I remember how to do this. Let's have a go. I don't know how this is going to work out. <laughs> hey! Obviously I don't have a kitchen Therefore, I don't have a counter to do this on. So I'm going to use my chair, my little puffy. So I just give the little fringe press a little wash out. It's got this weird circle at the front of it. What's that for? I'm going to Google this. Circle on coffee bag. The hole in our coffee bags is a one-way valve that lets carbon dioxide exit from the beans. Oh. Hmm, carbon dioxide escapes from that little hole. Learn something new every day. 10 grams to 180 ml, but this one says one tablespoon. Hmm. So this says three tablespoons, and in the photo it's using this. So do we do three of these and then just fill it up with water? Let's try that. Who knows? Oh my god, I'm excited. Should I bring you a bit closer? I'm a bit far away, no? Beep, beep. Right. One, two, three. Oh my god, it smells a bit like tuna. <laughs> uh, I love tuna so. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Pour in the water within approximately one inch from the top. Oh yeah, you need to stir it. I saw that on the Starbucks video. Let's pour this in. This is just room temperature water. <gasps> is that good? Is that an inch? Oh, where's the spoon gone? Is this how it's supposed to look? Oh yeah. Let's see, now it doesn't smell like tuna. <laughs> oh God, only me could come up with that. I mean, let's just see how it goes. Would you say that's an inch from the top? I reckon so. Now, I just pop it on like that, right? But you don't press it down, you keep it up like that. I'm gonna put this in the fridge until I have to go to work tomorrow morning. Now, in my hotel, they have an ice machine on every floor. How cool is that? So I'm gonna grab some ice in the morning and find a cup from somewhere. And we're gonna see if I manage to make my own Starbucks cold brew. So let's pop this in the fridge. Da -da -da -da. So welcome to my hotel fridge. <laughs> I have two bottles of water and a bag of plums. I'm gonna take out this little rack. I'm gonna sit you in there. Yes! Put my plums back in. Come on, work your magic. Let's really hope this works. This is my first time ever making my own coffee like this. Fun! So, cold brew is in the fridge. It is currently 8.16 p.m. I'm gonna take that out. Probably gonna take it out around 10 a.m. Wait, what time have I got to leave the house? Mmm, maybe a bit later. So it's gonna be brewing for a good 14 hours, I think. If it tastes bad, then I know that we need to do it for longer next time. So I'm now gonna chill out. I'm gonna wash my hair. I'm gonna get to bed. I'm gonna have a nice early night and I'm gonna wake up and see if this coffee's any good. See you in the morning. Hola chicos. Hi, good morning. Got my hair. So I am up, I'm organized. I've actually got my makeup on this morning before work, which is something I never do. I normally always do my face when I get to work, but I have a later call time today and they've only given me one hour before my first show and your gal can't get ready in one hour. I set a timer last night from when we made that coffee. That was 14 hours ago. So it's currently 10.45. I am going to get changed now, sort out this hair a little little bit and then I'm gonna make my cold brew. Oh, that does makeup so fast. So ugly. Let's go. Hi! 
So my hair hasn't got any better. <laughs> But I just went downstairs and the lovely man in the restaurant gave me a plastic cup because that was the one thing I didn't think about. Sorry that it's plastic, but it does have a paper straw. So in the video, I believe you would fill this half with the coffee that we made yesterday and then add the ice and then top it up with cold water. Look! Yes! You can't really see on the video, but all the coffee is like floated to the top. Is that what's meant to happen? So now... I just go like this. Now we have some filtered coffee! Oh my god, I'm excited. Let's pour. Oh! Oh, but it's quite light in colour. Mmm! That smells divine. Oh, I kind of want to try it. Just to see how much water I'm going to put in. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> It smells lovely. Let's go and find the ice machine. We'll fill it up with ice and then I'm just gonna fill it. I don't know. Yep, that needs some water. <coughs> oh, but that tastes dying. Okay, let's go and find this ice machine and let's fill it up with ice. Oh my God, that was so awkward. I couldn't do that with one hand. Okay. I've got my ice in there, not too much because I didn't want to fill it up. Then I've got a bottle of cold water here. Oh. <gasps> it looks a little bit clearer than Starbucks, like, like I can see the straw through it. It's normally a really, really dark colour, but that could just be my ratios, you know. So let's give this a go. <laughs> Banging. Oh my goodness. That is great. It doesn't taste like the Starbucks cold brew, but that's maybe because they use a different coffee bean or a different something. I have smashed that. It's not got that bitter taste like I was talking about last night. Like an iced Americano always has this aftertaste like, Ooh. I've just saved myself 20 dirhams a day. Oh, that is lovely. Very impressed with you. 14 hours and 50 minutes. So we did brew it for like a long time. Can you believe I did that in a hotel room with this little thing? Honestly, it tastes amazing. The only thing is it takes a long time, but I could do it overnight every night, couldn't I really? But in the long run, do you think it would be cheaper or more expensive? And that bag of coffee was 23 dirhams. 23 dirhams is 5 euros and 60 cents or 4 pounds 80, roughly. Oh, because I spend 20 dirhams on one of these every day. Stop it. I'm gonna be rich with all this money I'm saving. Now, the next thing I need to do is get myself one of those posh plastic cups, you know, like an official Starbucks one or something, and then I'm sorted. And then I cut out the plastic and I'm using a reusable cup every day. I'm, I'm very pleased with myself this morning, as you can see. So guys, I'm going to wrap this video up here with my crazy lion hair. If you enjoyed this kind of video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And please subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps and supports my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon for another video.